Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, and I'm a security architect at Microsoft. And today I'd like to talk to you about security compliance in Microsoft Teams, starting with identity and access management. Let's get started. When it comes to identity and access management in Microsoft Teams, we like to use conditional access. With conditional access in Azure Active Directory, this allows us to provide governance on how access to Microsoft Teams is used. So for example, if I want to make sure that only employees that have a managed device that's trusted and up-to-date on my compliance policies access Teams, I can do that while denying personal devices and devices that I don't manage from being used to log into Microsoft Teams. I can also have users be challenged with multi-factor authentication and even be presented with the terms of use. My most favorite conditional access policy is that of securing guest access. Let's take a look at that here in real time. Guest access in Microsoft Teams is a wonderful feature. However, it could have serious security and compliance implications if you don't trust that guest user. For example, if I'm your marketing agency and you invited me as a guest to your team, I would simply go into my tenant switcher in the upper right-hand corner and choose to log into your team as a guest. It logs me out of my tenant and logs me into yours. Now, your conditional access policy requires multi-factor authentication. And I'm gonna to respond to that multi-factor authentication request using my smartwatch. Once I respond to that challenge, it's then going to present me with a terms of use agreement. Similar to the control delete days, in order for me to access this application as a guest, that conditional access policy also requires a terms of use agreement to be accepted. This also gets audited in the audit log and it allows me to then access the application. Now, what if I'm trying to access Microsoft Teams from a home computer, a personal computer that's not managed by my company? Well, with conditional access, we can block that. So here I am a user logging into Microsoft Teams, and after I type my credentials and respond to the multi-factor authentication request, you're gonna see it deny me access to Microsoft Teams. So we're gonna do the smartwatch thing here and we're gonna go ahead and authenticate. And here you can see immediately it denies access. It says my application cannot be accessed from a personal device that is not allowed. Again, this is the power of Azure Active Directory and conditional access. Let's take this another way. What if my credentials actually get compromised through an email phishing campaign or otherwise, and that attacker tries to use my stolen credentials to then sign into Microsoft Teams? A lot of times those attackers will use the Tor browser. This allows you to anonymize your IP address and mask your identity. So here we have an attacker trying to log into Microsoft Teams and impersonate a user. Now when they go to do this, you can notice that the circuit that the Tor browser is creating is actually routing the traffic through Germany and thus creating an anonymous IP address. So we're gonna sign in as Adele and see what happens. So once we authenticate here, the system will then come back and let us know that access has been denied because we're coming in from a resource that has not been approved or a location that's restricted. Again, this is the power of conditional access, Azure Active Directory Identity Protection, and Azure Active Directory All Up. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and have a good idea now of what the importance is of identity and access management when it comes to Microsoft Teams. Please go out and explore Azure Active Directory, Conditional Access, and Azure AD Identity Protection. Thanks again and have a great day.